Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. That's what we're playing. Uh, I have literally just continued from the previous episode and I'm about to save the game because I should. Um, because we're about to start off in a kind of scary situation. But that one just shot that one, which was amazing. So my advanced dodging techniques are really coming, uh, coming out in the, in the clutch right now. Uh, I can see this. That reminds me, I completely missed a secret in the very long and scary episode where I remember that there were some steps that we could see on the way in. It was probably where the uh, final enemy was. So this isn't fun. This is my standard way of dealing with everything. Is to press the button and then run the fuck away. Excuse my French. I think that is needlessly xenophobic and I apologise. However, it's not my fault that the French invented these horrible words for us to say in the first place. They can just fight amongst themselves, as far as I'm concerned. I've had to close the back door, which is behind me, uh, because those revelrous people who made me smell barbecue in the previous episode have now become so loud that the microphone is actually picking it up. Which is not really... You know, it's not something I want to, to be part of my, uh, my series here. This is not really the right atmosphere, I think, is what I'm going for there. Minor problem with the shotgun, of course, is that there is a limited refire rate on it, so if an enemy is about to shoot you and you're still cocking it, pumping it, you're going to get shot. However, the spread on it is pretty nice um, and is causing multiple enemies to die out once. I'm standing on top of the enemy. Now, I know for a fact that original Doom did not allow for that. So, that was kind of fun. <laughs> in the original Doom, and I think we've touched on this before, the um, the clipping height of what they call axes, which is the the movable, the mobs, basically. Um, but they use the same term for all these small things on the ground, too. The clipping radius of them was the only thing that it paid attention to because it's a 2D, 2D engine, so the height of them is irrelevant. Which means that these things could, in theory, nom on you right here, even though you were right up here, because the only thing that the game cared about is your 2D position. Which um, is one of the things that they probably should have designed around but didn't. Because as I was saying in a previous episode, there's a lot of um, design decisions made in the game that make sense if you consider early, um, early gaming... Uh, control schemes is what I'm trying to get out there, i.e. vis-a-vis, so to speak, that because you had a limited turning speed, I'm a little bit scared of this, um, that's the door there, right, okay, because you had limited turning speed and limited maneuverability, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming, uh, a lot of things that happened were way more scary because they were way more difficult to deal with. Like that, for example. You wouldn't have had the ability to strafe. You wouldn't have had the ability to turn quickly. You would have been stuck in the moment and had to deal with it however you could. Also, I'm intrigued by this... Um... By this... Okay. Hoping that these things will fight amongst themselves sufficiently that I can get off a decent... That was actually a really good shot from that. Considering the way that we learned the... Um, the spread of the BFG shots work... Um, once it's struck uh, a target, once it's hit home... The rays that it sends out in order to find more things to hit... Is based on the direction it was going... When it struck. Which means the fact that it hit so many things meant that we were very lucky that a lot of the rays that it sent out to look for something to hurt hit so many of these things, which have now been jibbed to all hell. Or jibbed to all hell. I'm pretty sure it's jibbed because they're giblets. But, you know, gibbed sounds better, right? I mean, come on. Gif sounds better than jiff, even though it's a giraffe interchange. It's a giraffe interchange. Look, that one doesn't stand up to scrutiny, but the other one does. Run. Leave. Okay. 
The other thing is that dancing around them like you would in the modern world, which is what I did, doesn't actually work so well because they don't have a turning rate of their own. They they can turn on a dime and as fast as they like. Come on, then. I want grenades. That's the nice thing about Quake. I will give Quake its credit where credit's due. Uh, Quake credit. Um, oh shit, I landed on you, sorry. Should have broken your neck, but it didn't happen. There's a game where you can do that. Is it Smash Bros? Nah. Don't. Th I think it's literally a broken neck, so it can't be Smash Bros. Oh, we're back here. That's fine, because actually I want some HP. There's a game where you, if you jump on someone and hit them at the right angle, you will actually snap their neck. Oh, it's Unreal. UT. Yeah. I remember being super surprised when I discovered that. You could actually just jump on someone from a great height and uh, break their neck. You have to do it exactly right. It might be UT 20, 2003 or something. But yeah, yeah. Great addition to a game. So apologies for just checking my phone while I'm doing this. There we go. So we're back where we started. I assumed that that teleporter would somehow get us back to where we wanted to be. Uh, this is interesting. This one's glowing and so is that one. Does that mean it's a trap? Can I get to these? It doesn't look like it, actually. But maybe they go down at some point. Just like your mama. Yeah, very funny. Your mum went down at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it all. Before. Oh, they go down when you ask them to. Fair enough. Let's do that then. That's just me experimenting, because I'm thinking there's no way you can get these. Do I want any of this stuff? I mean, I can just wait for it to go up again. See if I want any of the things. There's a light thingy. I'll take the rockets because I have been using them. That's actually quite strange. Might as well just take all the ammo from that as well. That's an okay place. I mean, it doesn't really seem like it would have... It could have been a trap. And it wasn't a trap, which is very strange. But okay. This is a trap. So you're manoeuvring around like that. Just doesn't happen with the mouse with the uh, keyboard only control scheme. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Don't do that. Use this. <laughs> I think the thing is this uh, light amplification visor that we have on right now. The modern effects for it is um, that hurt a shitload, and yeah, I've got a shitload of health left. The modern effect for it is. Kind of worse than the intended use of it, which is just to set all light levels to 100% and not make you worry about having to fuddle around in the dark. But now that it's being made out like a um, night vision goggles and therefore is using the green spectrum on everything, which of course would be impossible in the old days because we didn't have more than 256 colours, which meant we didn't have the palette range to actually greenify everything, which is why it just set it to full bright in the first place. Ooh. Ah, not a secret, unfortunately. Invisibility. Invisibility. Fine, but not really what I'm here for. That was such a clear secret, and I'm salty that I didn't get the credit for finding it. Maybe the map gave it away. I'm not going to take that yet, because I'm half expecting to be completely royally owned by something over here. Look. You're not impressing anybody with your... Expected jump scares. See, it didn't have necessarily too much of an effect on the um, ooh, stairs. Uh, actual lighting of the place, because I don't know what the lighting of the place looked like when we did it. So all it really did was make bodies glow, which was really not that great. Yeah, there's nothing down here, but I thought I'd check. I'm sure there's more stuff back over there. In fact, we should fill up on our cells, because... I also can't decide whether I consider teleporters to be cheap or not. I mean, these days, yes, I might do. Which is why I'm really glad that they made the teleporter in Doom 3 a plot point, rather than just having them all over the place. Um, but yeah, I can't tell if I, I find it Lazy design, but I guess I would consider it lazy design these days because we have an extra axis. 
Uh, these... These Doom developers didn't have the benefit of being able to just make us go up and over. Uh, we couldn't have lifts that literally took us to the next floor. But the reason I'm doing this this way is I know we have a Soul Sphere. So as long as we don't lose so much health that the Soul Sphere isn't good enough. Which is impossible because there's loads of HP out here anyway. We can get to full eight oh, another Soul Sphere. They really didn't give me much credit, did they? Which is fair because in those days it was a lot more difficult. We've lost a lot of armor, though. That's probably the uh, worst part of all. Oh, Jesus Christ. That'll be why that's there, then. Did you know that was coming? I didn't know that was coming. You, you pay attention to that. I'm going to go and get this and hide over here. Holy shit. Literally did not expect that. How would you fit one of them in here? Thanks to a uh, 42% game of... 42% game of... 42% health? Why? Um, for pointing out that... That thing's actually called the Spider Mastermind. Which is true, I had forgotten. It is called the Spider Mastermind when you finish the actual game. You can't see us from here, so... There you go. That sort of manoeuvre did not work too well in the old game, because in the original playstyle, because you didn't have the opportunity to strafe that easily. You're going to take a few hits from this, right? Yeah, it's fine. Please. We have uh, more than enough HP, so I can afford to take the damage, but I don't want to because we're running out of armour. Which is not really the be-all end-all of everything, but... Oh, there's more over there. Fair enough then. So I'll take this. Which is the correct order of things, because 200% armor is max. So we could have used up all our armor to do that and still come up a winner. Because now we're going to go back down here. Pick up what shotguns we need. Quickly jump through this teleporter. Bomb down here. Grab this soul sphere and jump back. Which will get us full health and full armor, which hopefully will let us have some ability to cope with whatever's coming next. There's a mega sphere in Doom 2, I think, which gives you 200% health, which is amazing. I'm going to save this before we jump in, uh, because I want to be prepared for it. Of course, we're going to start at the start of the next level anyway, so whatever. Oh! The Spider Mastermind must have sent forth its legions of hellspawn before your final confrontation with that terrible beast from hell. Yes, by the Mastermind, see? But you stepped forward and brought forth eternal damnation and suffering upon the Horde as a true hero would in the face of something so evil. Besides, someone was going to pay for what happened to Daisy, your pet rabbit. Uh, that was a picture because at the end of the last episode we saw the rabbit. But now you see spread before you more potential pain and gibitude. <laughs> gibitude. As a nation of demons run amok among our cities. Next stop, Hell on Earth. So what's happened here is we fought a second Spider Mastermind because they didn't think of anything else to give us to fight the end of this episode, which is fair enough. It's got to use the same basic uh, assets that the original game had. Um, oh, there's me. And um, it segued into Doom 2, which I have remembered how it starts. It starts on that level where you can turn around and get the chainsaw immediately. Um, which we may play. But now is time to start playing Doom 2016, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this series. This episode was exactly the right length, so do remember to give me some comments, give me some likes, and give me some encouragement for other games to play in between the Doom 2016 episodes, which I can guarantee will scare the shit out of me, no doubt, because I'm cowardly and didn't even... <laughs> I screamed during this game, right? I squealed during this game, so I can expect that to happen. Um, yeah, that's the end of this series. Thank you for watching it. That will segue nicely into Doom 2 at some point, which we will do, uh, Quake 2 2, and... Probably some more gentle games like RimWorld, as I mentioned previously, because that game at least gives me the opportunity to not have to, you know, have an elevated heart rate and constant adrenaline, adrenaline just to make me capable of playing it. So, yeah, let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know how you feel about other people's 
content um see if maybe they can play some cool games too uh, and of course there's always going to be more collaborative content anytime james comes to visit or i go to visit him anyway that's cool this is the channel this is the place to be where we are going to start doing those things so do join us then and until then thanks for watching